Welcome back. I'm MTG Joe. Today we're going to be playing some Gates in War of the Spark Standard. But before we get started, just wanted to let you know there's a new code. So the code is 1 billion for the 1 billion games of Magic that have been played on Arena. And if you enter that code, you get a free pack of War of the Spark. So give me my Submersive Submarine, my Mizium Tank. What do we get? Wild card, Bola Citadel. So not the worst. Um, so that's a free pack. And now to the games. So Guild Gates. So Gates was a very popular archetype in the last standard, uh, mainly because the mana base was very cheap. Um, it was a big ramp deck that you could play. Um, so of note, the deck really su struggled against Planeswalkers in the last standard. And now we've recently had a set that's all Planeswalkers. So you're seeing basically none of this deck anymore. Um, I wanted to see if it has any legs left um, and kind of update it for the new set um, just to see if there's something. Here, uh, I actually have like half this deck in foil from last standard. I enjoyed playing it. So see if there's any upgrades that could be made. Um, so the one thing that we're adding in is, first off, the Immortal Sun. We can't beat Planeswalkers, so we're going to play some Immortal Sun. Um, also, we're going to be playing Mass Manipulation, so this is our main payoff card, I would say. Uh, we want to just ramp out, steal their stuff, and go from that avenue. Um, the rest of the deck, it, we're adding in a Boreal Grazer, which will allow us to ramp. Of note, this lets us get to uh, a spell on turn three a little bit more consistent um, and then also hit growth spiral so let's just play a little bit ahead of the fact that our lands come into play tapped um, we still have our growth spirals we still have circuitous route to get uh, lands out of the deck and fix our mana uh, we cut down to two of these uh, we still have our sweepers in gates ablaze and deafening clarion and then um, I'm going with the creature package of four Gatebreaker Rams and then two Hydroid Crisis. Uh, we'll see how these go with the amount of, uh, what's your name? The blue three drop. Uh, da, 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 da. This is going to bother me. Um, where are you? Where are you? I'll figure it out. Um, it's going to bother me so much. Sorry. <laughs> What's her name? Uh, Planeswalker. Narset. Ah, there it is. So Narset's really bad against us. We're drawing a lot of cards, so we obviously need something to interact with that. Um, so Gro Guild Summits are payoff. Draws us cards. Hydro Crisis. Don't want to play four because of Narset. I uh, want to try out Finale of Glory as kind of our spell that we could dump a bunch of mana in and hopefully win the game. Um, and we can go from there. Um, and then in terms of sideboard, uh, Dovin's Veto versus Control, Prison Realm versus Planeswalkers. Where we need to be aggressive, we have War Boss, a General Crushing Canopy to catch all. And then Smashiok versus the Dreadhorn matchup, and Archway Angel against Aggro. So we're going to run it through a couple games, see how it goes. Uh, and we'll take it from there. So as we get started, uh, for those of you who are new to the channel, I'm MTG Joe. We put out between three to seven videos a week on YouTube, sometimes going live on YouTube for streaming. Um, if you enjoy the content and want to show your support, subscribing is a free and easy way. If you can hit that button, it goes a long way to helping that channel out. Alrighty, waiting on the opponent. Well, as we wait for our opponent, let me know in the comments if you've had any luck with upgrading decks. Um, yep, so it's fine. You generally want to keep blue and green mana on turn one. Those are your two primary colors. Okay, so opponent's not on mono blue, thankfully. Okay, so they have the Thought Erasure. We'll see what they th take from us. Hopefully not Gross Spiral. Not Gross Spiral. We have two of our win cons here. 
if I hide it. Can't take it. No. Uh, we'll go green here and just pass the turn. So this looks like the Demir Kefnet deck. Opponents picking apart our hand here. Okay, Immortal Sun indicates that they are playing some number of planeswalkers. We got mass manipulation for future turns. Um, probably just wait another turn. Is a mill deck. Interesting. Okay, Gate Breaker Ram's pretty good here. No, I'm just gonna go this. X2, draw a card, hopefully hit a land. I didn't even see what they hit. And they got a mass manipulation en route. And that's not too bad. I lost my okay, so they have that. We're 35 cards. We're going to board wipe here. And we'll just pass the turn. They'll be able to get some mill. Boreal Grazers, not the worst. The question is... Yeah, let's just play out Gatebreaker. So they play Ritual as Soot. Just finale here. They flip a Scanta. We're at 24 cards. So they have another thief. I think we I think we take this hit and then steal their thief next turn. It's a little risky. Uh, it's very risky. I screwed that up as well. We don't have the four blues. So hopefully we don't get punished there.
they have Kefnet. Gonna pump in here. Gates ablaze. And I think we just go. Do we go X2 again? Or I think we wait a turn. We'll just play out the Grazer. And the Summit. We're kind of low on cards, but it is what it is at this point. Ah, they hit the Ashiok, which is bad for us. I need you. Like an X4. So X4 here. Boreal Grazer is not the best. Um, oh, I had X5. Uh, we're just punting away. I'll send the message. All right, so Ashiok is a tough one. Uh, so we want vetoes, we want prison realms, and I think we want to go more aggressive here. Uh, Gatebreaker is not going to do much in this matchup. They're just going to bring in more targeted removal, probably sweepers. Cut down a mass manipulation. Cut down the summits. Cut down the clarions and a gate to blaze. They did show creatures, so having gates to blaze isn't completely dead. Do we want to bring in our Ashiox? They have a Scanta. So maybe cut down one there. Cut down the roots. Bring in three sweepers just in case. Actually, crushing canopies, but they won't. They might have disinformation campaign. This gets rid of Kefnet and everything. Yeah, let's try it like this. Play first. This hand does nothing. Okay, we'll keep this. Uh, nope, we want red mana. So we play. It's a pretty good spark. Obviously, red mana would be the best. Wasn't that good. So another guild gate would be good here. Ah, they cut us off and now our hand's not really doing much. Okay. So mass manipulation. We do have the blue quotient. It's just a matter of hitting the other colors now. This hand would have been good if we would have been able to hit war boss. Nah. Not really doing anything. So these have been quite unimpressive. So 
the fact that they got the Scanta down, we're not ramping. I think this game's pretty much done. What would they name? Immortal Sun? Just draw a card here. Just slowly poke them. Our opponent respects our game. Yeah, they got the ritual. Okay. So that's stealing their first planeswalker. Hopefully it's an Ashiok. Well, we're in the business of playing lands. We get rewarded for the more lands we play. They opt to not flip a Scanta here. Do this now just in case we hit something. Pretty aggressive. You'd think they'd want that for mass manipulation. Narset's reversal. Interesting. Steal our big X spell. See if we can steal this. Okay, so they cast down. The undead make great men. Rise and shine. So here we'll just get rid of the dread horde. Uh, I'm just gonna hold the land, make it seem like we have something. In a pinch, we can shock ourselves. It is unfortunate they got to keep the zombie around. It is starting to be a clock. Mass manipulation off the top would be good. Legion war boss. Or a Simic guild gate. Yeah, this one's done. Alright, so game one, this deck felt really bad. We'll give it one more turn game with the Arbial Grazers. Like, I could see in an aggro matchup them holding up pretty well. But if we can't beat some janky Demir mill deck uh, we'll keep this hand so it depends on how fast we need to play we can plaza harmony to growth spiral because we have it now the red source to catch up I'm not as worried okay a little bit more concerned with Adanto Just pass the turn here. Clarion can clear up the first time. These Adantos will do a pretty good job of surviving after board wipes. Really want to hit lands now. Okay, sweet. Opponent did miss a line drop, which is pretty good for us. Ram is a 6-6. Six, six. Should hold them off a couple turns. We 
can also Clarion. Okay, yeah. Opponent realizes they can't get through our Grazer. Uh, in this matchup, most likely just want Archway Angels, Prison Realms. Uh, I don't think we need to go more aggressive than them. The mass manipulations are going to be too slow. Probably don't need the Immortal Sun. Uh, do we want... So they might be playing Gideon. So maybe one mass manipulation. Figure out what the opponent's on and then tailor it different. this. Ideally we want to draw land. One more turn to draw land. Uh, not hitting a land there hurts. Throw that out there, pass the turn. Um, here, I think we just take it for now. Okay, Plaza Harmony is good, gains us some life. Uh, I'm. I think I'm just gonna set this up this turn. We're not under an unusual amount of pressure. Makes all our future draws good. Uh, no attacks. Uh, we'll take it here. Okay, so another breeding pool's not bad. So let's. Growth spiral here, see what we get. Nah, just put that into play. Put out another one of these. Would have liked it to be a guild gate, to be honest. No attacks. No attacks. Just uh, throw one there. This is only a 4-4 four four at this point because of our land base. I want to get it a little bit bigger. But we're not hitting, so let's just bring it out. We also don't have the double white needed for this, nor the clarion. So a little bit hampered on mana right now when the Boros aggro deck... Uh, here, we'll just block like this. They might have pump spells. 
Let's go to another feather deck. Might be dead here. White source doesn't do it. They get those back. Okay, it's three for now. Arcway Angel. That's three mana. Finale of Glory doesn't do it yet. Okay, I think we just gotta wait the turn. See if we're dead. This deck definitely can win out of nowhere. Their hands full of pump spells, most likely. It's fine. So best case is we hit a guild gate. Guild Gate gives us four, wipe the board other than a Danto. Punished for the one breeding pool this game. Okay, so. sure why that was sticking there. The game's been acting weird. I did an R set today and it just froze my entire game. Yeah, they got us this game. Okay, so... They have Feather, so let's bring in that. Get rid of Mass Manipulation. Think we're okay bringing that? Run it back. Them having so many Adantos is actually quite beneficial for them. Alright, this sounds good. No sweeper, but Prison Realm can get rid of the first threat. Grow Spiral hopefully draws into more. Next turn we Grazer, throw down Plaza Harmony. Or even better. Throw down all our tap plans. Hopefully Grow Spiral finds us something good. Uh, here... I think getting rid of Feather is more impactful. If they have it next turn, so we'll just hang on. Dread Horde. I'm gonna pass turn, no blocks. In a pinch, we can Hydroid Crisis as well. Okay, so Roots fixes our mana here. So we got that, and we'll take a guild gate here. No attacks. So we can Krasis draw two if we want. It's 
fine. I'd rather they do that now than... Oh, that does get returned with Dreadhorde Ar Arcanist. Okay, so... We'll throw in a block here now. We can also Prison Realm this, play Guild Summit. Ooh, double Prison Realm. Get rid of you, please. Uh, do I want the other Guild Gate is the question. I think we want action at this point. And I'm gonna get rid of a Danto here. They're gonna have to spend their mana. Like they can play this, get it back, XL. Clarion's great. Keep that on top. So it prevents them from committing. With this deck, if you could control the creatures on the board, they have a lot of cards that just aren't good otherwise. This line is a little bit more aggressive. We are weak to a second feather. Okay, here. I'll just... Block like that. I want to incentivize them to use spells on Dreadhorde Arcanist, not 10th Street. Okay. So now we Clarion. Wipe their board. This card is still bugged or annoying. Okay, so we've done a pretty good job stabilizing. We'll draw two cards next turn and then set up for a big finale. Uh, they have a Defiant Strike in the yard. So we'll draw a card first. See what we hit. Mm. I think we just go Big Crasis right now. Gain back some life. That sets us up for a pretty nice next turn. We'll ram next turn and then go from there. So they will get to pu the pump. See what they use it on. Keep it on top. I think I'd rather get rid of the Arcanist has more utility at this point. Okay, so it gets indestructible. Another ram is good for us. Let's see if you can beat some 99s. Nine now we turn the corner pretty quick, and then hopefully just uh, beat them down. Next turn, we can do this for six. Which should be pretty much enough to keep up the ground, and then these just smash in for a lot. You got a feather. It's 
Something's getting indestructible. Up to not cast it. Sure. Yep. Too much to handle there. I'll, I'll run it for a best of one, just so you can get a feel for the deck. I know a lot of times people ask how the decks fare in the various formats. S instantly gets queued against Mono Red Cries. Uh, this hand does nothing. Well. Let's hopefully play a matchup or gate breaker. <laughs> what did I say? First game, uh, gate breaker ram? Or first game mono red? Good thing is it should be pretty much big enough to block or at least take a couple shots. Do, 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 do. Viashino Pyromancer. Uh, Steamkin. Uh, I'm playing Bant Gates. Immortal Sun is useless in this matchup, most likely. Also, gonna have to shock ourselves, which hurts. Let's see if they have. It's a stab, down to 12, down to 10. I'm probably gonna have to trade with the Steamkin here. See what they got. If they attack with Pyromancer only, generally suggests they have a burn spell. You have two burn spells. Seven, dead to anything. We'll play another one. <laughs> and this is where this deck is real. Like, if you don't have the Plaza Harmony draws. By playing everything a turn be behind. A Boreal Grazer should probably be okay in this matchup, actually. At the very least, it bites a lightning strike, but it blocks pretty well. Let's see what the opponent's on. Alright, what we got? Uh, this hand does nothing. Fine. So that other hand had nothing but big X spells. And we'll gain three life at least this time. But. This is a rough one. Opponent is slower start this time, it looks. They hit us. They got double shock. Eh. Okay, that was actually pretty good, at least. We play Grazer. 
play that. We can drop a Mortal Sun next turn and start drawing cards. Okay, they hit us for six. Takes us to eight, then we're dead to anything. We need to Immortal Sun steal the Steamkin. Unless they just kill us here. This deck sucks against Mono Red. Look at all these six drops we can't do anything about. Hey, hey, hey. So we can shock, steal. It's tapped, doesn't make a difference. We die. Play this. Hope for the best. Last turn. You got a burn spell. Okay. You, ch you chain whirly. You whirly boy s. Alright. I'm already dead. So that's pretty much the deck. Uh, you can see what it's good against, what it's not. And that's pretty much what we wrote. So uh, load this one up on the YouTube channel. Uh, let me know if you have any questions, any suggestions on how to improve the matchups for this deck. Revitalize might be something we want to play in here. Just more card draw. And if you haven't done so already, please make sure to hit that subscribe. Thanks for watching and have a great one.